here we are, Tokyo, Japan. It's a dream come true. It would be for any professional player. It's a chance to cultivate my skills, practice, and play against the best Japanese players. Well, the best players in the world. Ultimately, this trip could bring my career to the next level. Some need to be pushed, others will go willingly. But the hero of every good story reaches a point when he leaves his ordinary world and enters an unrecognizable place, with new rules and unfamiliar faces. In Street Fighter, it's the Master Elder Gokin who meticulously prepares his disciples Ryu and Ken for their journey into the unknown. During his teachings, Gokin dishes out sage-like advice that prepares the two warriors for combat and for life. With his white beard and bald head, he might appear old and wise, but since Street Fighter 4, Gokin is also a playable character. A character that can beat the crap out of many of the younger looking fighters. Explore Japan and you'll learn quickly that in a culture that's been around since the 8th century, some subtleties you'll never pick up. It's all yours. <laughs> Don't give it all to me, I'll eat it all. <laughs> The food runs the gamut from the bizarre to the exquisite. It tastes really good. It's not too sweet. It kind of tastes like corn just a little bit, but it's pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> and the first thing most foreigners understand about kanji is that understanding kanji itself is difficult at best. This means up. Hmm. That clearly says P9, so... What? P9? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Japan was like a very, especially Tokyo, like a high-tech, uh, very industrial city, you know, buildings everywhere, skyscrapers. Japan has a lot of green. You don't really see too much graffiti and, you know, it's just a huge change from what I'm used to seeing. But Zen Buddhism, the religion before religion, is maybe the most valuable thing Snake Eyes will encounter here. The observance of mind and breath. The lessons of the sensei. It's a practice long adopted by those looking to stay focused when the environment around them gets hectic. When you have a problem with something, if you can't like tune it out, you don't let it overtake you. You just kind of, um, you know, just let it happen and you accept it. And um, that translates extremely well to what I do in Street Fighter. For the past 20 years, the Xbox, the PlayStation, and the PC have dominated Street Fighter play in North America. But in Japan, where arcade culture still flourishes, 
players can still take the fight to the street. Title station? Yes. You know exactly where it's at? Yeah, I think it's over there. <laughs> When I first went there, there's uh, the first floor, and they had like Hello Kitty machines. You go downstairs, and it's a totally different environment. There's smoke everywhere, so it's kind of hazy inside. There's nothing but fighting games everywhere. You actually just put in coins like you normally would in an arcade in America. There was tons of guys up there playing. Like when I went up there, I was like, you know, wow. <laughs> you know, this is amazing. We don't even have arcades in America. And I was, you know, I felt like I was learning something against these guys. I can play on arcade stick, but I can't play as well as I can on pad. And I picked Zangief against him. And I, I lost. You know, it was pretty surprising because I didn't think anyone was that good at these arcades. Mastery. The Roshi teach it with advice and poignant sound bites. People circle the world looking for it, but there are no shortcuts to becoming a master. The secret formula is actually very simple. Work, time, and a little hard-earned wisdom. There's some killers here. Yeah, so Tokyo Game Show, it's gonna be a really rough turn. Guys, ready for some Ultra Street Fighter 4? <laughs> 